The work of the hands of the workers. The work with the axe. That's right. One cut of the tree out of the forest with the work, as, which is the workmanship of the, of the man with the axe. What is that tree? We're going, we're going into how the Lord told us not to worship Christmas. The tree, I'm going to read it, I'm gonna read it better. Hold up. It says, it says, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, for one cut of a tree. For the customs of the people are vain. Cutting out a tree, decking it with the halls of folly, that's, those are vain customs of the heathen. It says, for the customs of the people are vain. One cut up a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen, with its axe. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails, with a hammer that it move not. How do you put up a Christmas tree in your household? You got most of y'all getting a live tree. You're going to cut it, get it cut down, and you're going to take it to your home. You're going to fasten it with nails or clips, okay? And then you're going to do what with it? So that it move not, okay? And then you're going to do what? You're going to deck it with silver and gold, with your silver tinsel, your gold tinsel, or whatever tinsel. You're going to put balls on it. But you don't know that, that that custom is a Babylonian custom. Going back to Nimrod, Simba Ramses is how I move. And it says this, they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and, and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must need be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is, is it in them to do good. Because in the ancient world, the Israelites right here that I'm speaking about, they would cut this tree out of the, uh, out of the wilderness, bring it into their homes, and they would deck it. They wasn't decking it for the reason that you decked it for, to give presents to your children. No. When they was giving, what they was doing was, the, the, uh, the tree is a Babylonian uh, custom, okay, and it stood for Nim Nimrod. If you know about Gen Nimrod in Genesis, verse, uh, uh, in the uh, early books of Genesis, they speak about Nimrod in um, Genesis 10, okay? 10 and 17. Now, when what, what people would do was, they would deck it with real gold, real silver, and they would put gifts under it, and they would get down on their hands and knees, and they would, and they would get them the presents to the tree. Because they thought if they didn't give anything to the tree, which was Nimrod, that he would come and, and kill you. Huh. That's what that meant, okay? But now, in 2016, our people, you're still doing the same thing. When the Lord specifically told you not to do these things. So, but then you'll say, well, it goes back to Christ. Well, we just told, first of all, the one you call Christ, his name is Yahweh not Christ. No one ever called him Christ. No one ever called him Jesus when he walked this earth. When he walked this earth, they called his name Yahweh Now, he was born in the, in the springtime. That's why his birth was commemorated with what? The Passover. And if you know anything about the Passover, it's between March, sometimes it's going to in February, or March and April. Now also, now, now also, now also when he was born, when he was born, when he was born, people were out. If you know anything about the, the climate in Jerusalem, if you know anything about the climate in Jerusalem, it's very cold. So you can't be out there with your flocks. You got to bring them in and feed them. So why are our people, so our people, they go about celebrating Christmas. When, when I'm reading specifically in the Bible, when people say they believe in Christ, they believe in the word, he told us not to do that because our people were afraid of it back then. Now, our people are not afraid of it so much so as they were in the ancient world, but they still follow those ancient traditions, okay? When you talk about Christmas, when you talk about New Year's, which is a celebration of Bacchus, okay? See, this, all this stuff goes back, but it don't go back to the, to the Lord. So the Lord told us not to, uh, not to learn where to eat. That's right. That, when you worship Christmas, you ain't doing nothing but worshiping Babylonian uh, traditions, man. That's right. With a Christmas, with a, with a, with a so-called Christian spin to it. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't celebrate Christmas, but alright. But anyway. So when you, so listen up. So listen up. Listen up. So when you celebrating Christmas, you really, like I told you, you celebrating the Babylonian. Now, that goes back to Simmer Ramsey's Talmud. Simmer Ramsey was Nimrod's mother, okay? That's where you get the nativity scene coming together, okay? Because in the scriptures, they don't, they talk about his birth, but they're not talking about it as a worship. Now, in 325 BC, you had a man called Constantine the Great. I don't know if you know who he is, but he was 
was the one that led the Roman, the, the, uh, the, uh, the Holy Roman Empire, okay? And he was an Israelite. He was a so-called, what you call a black man. Now, he, he took the paganistic rituals and he gelled them together with, uh, with the, uh, the traditions of the Bible. Because and that's where they came up with Christianity from, okay? Now, when he put them together, he, 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 he instead of worshiping Sima Ramses, he put up Mary. Prior to 325 BC, nobody was worshiping Mary, okay? Nobody was worshiping Mary, because even in the scriptures, they tell you not to worship Mary, okay? Now, he put her up, instead of putting Sima Ramses up, he put Mary up, and then, to, work, to, to take matters even further, he took the baby Talmud, okay, who, which our people used to worship in the ancient world too, he took Talmud, okay, and he, and he put the one you call Jesus in, in his state. So that's why it's, there's a lot of emphasis put on the, the mother Mary and the baby Jesus. We ain't talking about 33-year-old Yahweh Shai who died on the cross and was risen. They ain't talking about that. They're talking about the baby. That's right. Okay? Now, when you when you when you understand how traditions were just all you doing, all the customs of the of the world that you that you that you worshiping today, they ain't nothing but Babylonian, Greek, and actually Greek, Egyptian, all of that came from Babylonia. The first Babylon. Not the second one where you had Nebuchadnezzar. We're talking about the first one during the time of Nimrod, similar to the time of Now when you worship it on a, on a December 25th it was actually Nimrod's birthday. That was his birthday. But they put it together in 325 during the Council of Nicaea, okay? They put it together and they said, you know what? In order to convert pagans and Christians together, we're gonna put it all together. And so they put it all together and now you got something that you call Christmas. That's right. You know what the word Yule means? The word Yule, the word Yule in the ancient Babylonian actually means child, okay? So you have something called the Yule Law. So people would take a Yule log and they would burn it. Well, in the ancient world, they would take a little child and they would put it to the fire, okay? And the Lord told us not to put our children through the fire, okay? The Lord told us not to, not to worship, because when you're putting your children in the fire, they was actually worshiping the god Mole, which is a Ammon, uh, Japanese or Ammonite god, okay? Now, on top of that, you got Yule log, you got Christmas carols, okay? Then you got the candles, you, you know, people light up 12 candles for the Christmas, Christmas, that, going, that also goes back to Sima Ramses and Talmud and Nimrod, okay? The reindeer, the ones you call, you see Santa Claus on the back of, uh, 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 front, back of the sleigh with his 12, 8 reindeer, those go back to worshiping the Nimrod as well. That's right, he was also called the foreign god, the spotted foreign god, okay? So the Lord told us not to worship those, those gods. Read, read, uh, verse, uh, read uh, verse 1 again. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 10 and 1. Come. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Come. Thus says the Lord. So the whole house of Israel. Who are the house of Israel? Well, if you call yourself so-called Negro, African-American, colored, so-called West Indian, Haitian, if you call yourself a so-called Puerto Rican, a Mexican, okay, you are the children of Israel. Okay? If you're a so-called Mexican, you go back to the tribe of Issachar. If you're a so-called Negro, African-American, you go to the tribe of Judah. The same tribe that the one you call Jesus came out of. Now people say, come on, no, no. I got a question for you. In the Bible, does it describe what Jesus looked like? It does. Go to, Rome, go to Revelation 1 and 3. I mean, uh, 1 and 13. It actually does. And hold Daniel 10 and 5. Hold, uh, go ahead and read uh, Revelation 1 and 13. Matter of fact, read verse 1, and then I'll tell you the scripture. Revelation 1, Revelation 1 and 1? Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation 1 and 1. Right. The, re the revelation of Yahweh Shah. Which read, God, read it verbatim. The, relation, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, and showed him his service, which must shortly come to pass. Right. And he sent and signified it by his angels and served John. Right. So, Revelation 1 and 13 said that this was a revelation that was sent to the prophet John. He wrote revelations, okay? So the word revelation means to reveal, okay? What things make, which things are to come short, okay? Now when you read verse 13 right now. Revelations 1 and 13. Right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. We know that the Son of Man is the one you call Jesus, right? Revelations, Revelations 1 and 13. Right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one unto the like of the Son of Man, clothed with 
the garment down to the foot. He was clothed with the garment down to the foot, very much like the one that I'm wearing right now. Okay, this is called, this, this is not a dress. This is actually, uh, a, it's like a tunic, but it's called an ancient garment. And we used to always wear it, and, and we had a border of blue with fringes on it, okay? We on Clove with the garment down to the foot. Right. And girt about the pecs. He had a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle around his pecs. Now, back in the ancient world, we would use that to protect our vital organs when we went to war or to hold our sword. Keep on reading. His head and his hairs were like wool. That was the first indicator. His hair and his head were white like wool. The one you call Jesus had a beard on his face and he had hair on his head and it was white like the pure wool. Now, what nation on the earth has wool here in Texas? So-called black people, man. And I ain't talking about Africa. That's right. talking about so-called African-American people who you saw Negroes today. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Yeah. As white as snow. As white as snow, keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. They said his eyes were as the flame of fire. The reason why the Lord's eyes were red when he walked the earth, he drank a lot because he was acquainted with grief. He wasn't an alcoholic, he wasn't a drunk. He just drank a lot of wine. In the scriptures, when you read, uh, in, when you read in uh, Genesis, it said that the Savior was going was going to come out of our brothers. That's right. That his milk, his teeth were going to be white with milk, which is which is righteousness. Okay, and, and his eyes were going to be red with wine. You read it. And his feet like unto fine brass, as uh, if they had burned. Now, when you look at brass, brass is, what color is bronze? It's the same color as brass, which is, because that word in the Greek goes back to bronze, when you look it up. It's, it's brown. It's people like, as the fine brass, as, as if they what? Burn in the furnace. As if they burn in the furnace. Now, when you take anything in the work and you put it in the fire, it comes out what? Black. So it just told you that in the description that he had hair like wool, skin as if it burned, skin like brass, as if it burned in the fire. Okay? It's usually this picture right here. All right? This picture right here. Now, is this here white like wool? No. Is this skin as a color of bronze if it burn in the fire? Is no. His eyes, is his fire. eyes, hold on, got it. Is his eyes as the flame of fire? No, they're not. So who is this man? This man that you worship, this image is Cesare Borgia, the second son of Alexander Pope of Rome. And they put this picture up in the Renaissance period. Are you familiar with the Renaissance period? It happened in the 1400s, uh, 14th century, late 14th century. Just like Thanksgiving, just like Christmas, you watch these witches.
wicked holidays, but you won't come back to the Lord. Give me Isaiah 29 and 16. Isaiah 29 and 16. Is that 29 and 18? 16. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely you're turning up things upside down shall be as thing as the potter's clay. Right, you're turning up things. This is Esau. Esau's turning up things upside down has been the scheme as the potter's clay. How's it being scheme as the potter's clay? Because our people worship these days, man. Esau, he made up these signs. He turned everything upside down. He put women over men. He put homosexuals and lesbians in the forefront of the earth. That's right. And it's esteemed as the potter's clay. Christmas, Christmas is esteemed all throughout the earth. You can go from here, you can go to Korea. Last night in Korea, they were celebrating Christmas. Today in America, they're going to celebrate Christmas uh, uh, Eve, OK? Hold on, give me a second. OK? So we got again, bro. Jeremiah 29 and 16. Yeah. Surely, your timing of things upside down shall be as thing as the potter's clay. That's right. For shall the work say to him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the, the things bring say to him that framed it, he had no understanding. And that's what the white man do. You say that the Lord didn't create you, that you came from an amoeba. Talk about monkey, monkey, monkey. A monkey, so about evolution. You say that the earth was created out of a big bang, okay? You say all of these things, but you know what? All of that is a lie, man. And it's a scene of, you say that the one you call Jesus is a so-called white man. And that this is the picture that we're supposed to be worshiping, that he was born on December 25th, and how we supposed to be worshiping. In the dead of winter. In the dead of winter, giving gifts up. That, this is a falsehood, man. So read that again. Jeremiah 29. No, Isaiah 29. Isaiah, Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely, your timing of things upside down shall be as thing as the potter's clay. Yep. For shall the work say unto him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing that framed him frame it. He, he had no understanding. That's right. So you said the Lord don't have no understanding. Shall the thing that did that say that? No, you shouldn't. You're, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're like a picture frame. The picture don't get in the frame and say, the guy that put me up here didn't exist. The picture in the picture frame doesn't say that I just made myself. No, it don't say that, man. So hey, check this out. So this is off a website. It says early Christians had a soft spot for pagans. Hey, Hey, it says this, early Christians had a soft spot for pagans. It's a mistake to say that our modern Christian traditions come directly from pre-Christian paganism, said Ronald Hyde, at a historical at Bristol University in the United Kingdom. However, he said, you'd be equally wrong to believe that Christmas is a modern phenomenon. As Christians spread their religion in Europe in the first century AD, they went, that's not what I mean. Because Christmas, uh, this Christmas celebration is off, man. I had a, I had something uh, a couple days ago. Time out. I got a Friday. Oh, guys, Christmas Eve. Uh. So. Because it goes further than uh, the Greek Empire, man. Huh. It goes back to Babylon. And I had it at the fair, but it's all right. for some reason, I'm trying to find it. It's all right. Oh, spirit, I, it's all right. Wait, sir. Anyway, I can't find it right now. It's all right. So anyway, things, uh, all this wickedness is being esteemed as a potter's clay. Okay? You got, you got images. When we start talking about what the world looks like, nobody wants to hear that. I hate that. No, when we start it's talking, it's all good until it's a black man. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep your foot when you come from the house of the Lord, sir. Just listen, man. So our people out here celebrating these.
holiday, you know, you over here in Hawaii celebrating your Christmas with your family, you going out buying gifts, you know, and but you say you're doing it in the name of the Lord. When you really not, you're doing it, you actually doing it in the name of Satan, man. Because you're not worshiping the most high. Hey, give me uh John chapter uh four, verse 21. Four to 22. Four verse 22. Actually, uh, 23, John 4, 23.
problem, man. Jake wants you to speak smooth, and he wants you to speak soft. If I was speaking soft, you still wouldn't listen. Speak to a smooth Yeah, yeah. If you speaking soft, they wouldn't listen. You out here with your girl, you shopping, you doing all the holding hands and shit. You doing all the Christmas shit. You don't, you don't care. So again, like I said, and I'm gonna say it again, this is for y'all about to shot. You draw near to the most high with your mouth. That's but right. in your heart, you far from the Lord, man. You far from the Lord, man. Hey, the scripture said the Lord spoke as a sound of many waters, man. Uh, they can't you stop this. The Lord spoke to 5,000 people without a mic, man. Without a mic. But you, hey, you, you jakes, man. You so called flesh and spirits, man. You got, you got light bulb messed up, man. Fuck you. Think, hey, chill out. Hey, cause you got, you got, you, cause you got, uh, you got your job. You got your woman. You got your car. You out here doing trips every now and again. You think you made it, man. You celebrate Christmas. You think you made it, man. You got a sign over here that says give love. But you don't know what love is, man. You don't know what love is. You think love is shopping and, and breaking your bank account, going broke, to, stick, to give somebody a gift? Because that's what most of you jakes going to do. Most, you, most, most of you people go out here, you spend, you spend, 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 till you had, till you, till you had enough, till your money can't go no more. And you think you made it. You get your little car, and you spin around there, and you think you made it. But you ain't made it, man. You lost to the subs. If you, it's 2016, if you still celebrating Christmas, you lost to the subs. You, you still celebrating Christmas talking about we doing it for the kids, you lost to the subs. That's right. Okay? And that's no excuse. Your kids don't hold a gun to your head and tell you I want Christmas. You get that stuff to them, man. You put that lie on them, man. Okay? And then you want to flip back and say you love the Lord, man. Isaiah 29 and 13. Huh. Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near to me with their mouth, with their mouth, and with their lips to honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. And the fear towards me is sort of the precepts of men. That's right. The fear of the Lord is taught to you by men. I tell you that the Lord loves everybody, that the Lord is back in Christmas, and he's with you with this. Hey, the Lord ain't dealing with Christmas, man. That he look like that. Okay, that he look like a so-called white man. The Lord didn't look like a so-called white man, yo. Okay? You eat a mice, you about to be destroyed, That's man. right. You know, you out here shopping, buying gifts, but America's about to be destroyed by nuclear fire. Okay? You out here celebrating all these pagan holidays, but you don't know that you and the pagan holidays with idols that you worship, they're about to be destroyed, man. Because the Lord ain't all love. The Lord hates. The Lord is jealous. The Lord is merciful. Okay? The Lord is long-suffering. But you don't say none of that. All you say is give love. Love, love, love. Merry Christmas. The Lord is happy new year. God is a man. He is a, he's love. He's all love. Hey, man. Hey, go to, go to Exodus 15 and 3. Exodus 15. We want to show you that the Lord ain't all love, man. And hey, the Lord is going to kill two-thirds of his people. Is that love? It really is a tough love for Jacob. Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. That's right. The Lord, Yahweh, is a man of war. And Yahweh is his name. And Yahweh Shai is his son's name. Okay? So where is that at? Why they don't bring that out of church, nah, man? Nah, nah. Why you don't bring Jeremiah 10 and 1 out of church, man? Love. Why you don't bring that out on the time of Christmas, man? Why you don't bring none of that out, man? Why you don't bring none of that out? Because you doing things according to precepts of men. Men tell you that the Lord is behind Christmas. They, they show you uh, nativity movies on, 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 on your cable channels. Okay? When it's all because everybody in there is what a cracker. Everybody in the movie is an Edomite, man. Right. None of them are Jakes, man. If it's easy, Jake, he's gonna die first. Yeah, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? So again, you people don't know anything about the Lord, man. Your, your, your fear towards the Lord is, is brought to a, a preacher to men, man. And then you smile, man. What you say? That's, That's it. You know you're about to be destroyed out here? You know that, right? Hey, you ain't your girl, bro. Jake over here waving, but hey, that's two thirds of our people. He's an example of two thirds. Two thirds of our people, he don't care about life. All he care about is what he got. 
He don't care about in, uh, uh, sal salvation, man. But you niggas to get in church and say you was you was saved in '96. Jesus, 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 <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You say you were saved in '96. How the Lord is dealing with you? And how, 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 how you gave your life to Christ and all this other madness? But you you giving your life to uh, preach up some men, okay? That's right. You you go about a whore, man. All right. So at the end of the day. We're speaking the truth, okay? Now, I got a question. Are you celebrating Christmas again? Are you celebrating Christmas again? No. Are you celebrating? Oh, calm down, man. You must stay right away, man. Hey, are you celebrating Christmas again, man? Hey, you believe in God and Jesus, right? Yes, sir. Do you know that in the Bible it said that we're not supposed to worship? I'm going to celebrate Christmas and, uh, and, and all those days? Do you know that in the one you call Jesus, that Jesus wasn't born on Christmas? Yes, sir. 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 Yeah, how do you love the Lord? Yeah, because the Lord ain't with them. What about the other stuff? Yeah, so, yeah, all, all of that heavy, all the killing. Oh, yeah, guess what? What about it?
trying to try to talk to him and get their number and shit. They would have been all for that shit. So they would have over there. So anyway, both of Hold on, hold on. Jeremiah 15 and 5. Jeremiah 15 and 5.
mais. Ele não fez, ele não fez não. Caraca. Ei, Goura. Não, não, deixa eu ver. Vamos lá. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 11 e 9. And the Lord said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah, and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which we just said. You know, you call yourself worshiping all these uh, paganist holidays, when now in 2016, man, you gotta be an idiot or live underneath a rock and not know that these holidays are paganist. That's right. You act that straight up. They'll tell you that these days And the Lord said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah. <coughs> What's the Time out. And among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquity of their, for, of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And that's right, you refuse to hear the ancient prophets, man. Even to this very day, you refuse to hear the prophets, man. Out of this word, all of them, a whole family, a day is going to Yeah. And, and no love. holidays, man. Those are, those are all, that's backwards, man. Just like our forefathers were worshiping the, uh, the, the Christmas tree, Nimrod, Simmerans, and Talmud, you're doing the same thing today with a, with a, with a, a guy that's not here, man. So far, because it ain't nothing but, it ain't nothing but plantation of Christianity, man. Okay? And they went after other gods to serve them, the house of Israel and the house of Judah. So the northern kingdom, you so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, along with the southern kingdom, you so-called blacks, West Indies, and Haitians, man. Both of them, man. The whole house of Israel, man. All right? That's right. And Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. So the Lord didn't make a covenant with the whole world, man. The Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel, man. Okay? The fact that Yahweh Shai came down here and was risen up, and was, uh, was crucified, and was risen up, was all for the Israelites, man. The fact that his birth was so magnificent was for the Israelites, man. It was for the Israelites, man. It wasn't for the whole world. And that's what's 
trouble. Jacob's trouble, man. When the Lord brings Jacob's trouble upon you, people on this side here, okay? You gonna try to yell for the Lord, man. But the Lord ain't gonna hear you, man. Right. It's gonna be the Lord that bring that evil upon you, man. Yeah, how about see me out with You know? Yeah. I form the light and create darkness. That's right. 
I make peace yep. and create evil. That's right. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord is the one that do all these things. You talk about evil, you talk about good, you talk about darkness, you talk about light. The one you call God does that, man. The one you call Jesus, he does that, man. Which his name is Yahweh by Shimei was shot. That's right. He's the one that creates evil. He's the one that creates darkness. Okay? The Lord does all this. So when evil, which evil is bad times, when that come upon you, it's the Lord that's doing it. Okay? When Esau gets to do what he wants, it's the Lord allowing Esau to open up the floodgates of hell and death on you, man. The transatlantic slave trade, the colonial period, the uh, the, uh, the incoming in the system, okay? It was the Lord that allowed them, the Edomites to do that, man. It's gonna be the Lord that allowed them to do that to you again, man. That's right. Hey, hey, the Lord will 